Hello viewers, today we shall discuss how to interpret diplopia charts and by the end of this video you will be able to identify any diplopia chart just by a glance. Red green goggles are worn such that the red glass is front of the right eye and the green glass in front of the left eye by convention. In a patient with no diplopia, a single image which is a combination of both red and green is seen in all nine diagnostic positions of gaze. The chart is interpreted from the patient's point of view so that this is dextro elevation, this is levo elevation and so on. If there is diplopia, one should first determine the diagnostic gaze in which there is a maximum separation of images. If there is no evidence of vertical diplopia, this indicates a horizontal muscle palsy and one should look for maximal horizontal separation. If there is a vertical diplopia, this indicates a vertical muscle palsy, either rectus or oblique muscle and the gaze with maximal vertical separation should be looked for. Next, one should determine whether it is a crossed or uncrossed diplopia. Uncrossed diplopia means that the image seen through the right eye that is the red image is seen on the right. This is cross diplopia. Even in vertical diplopia, crossed or uncrossed refers to the horizontal orientation of the images. So to interpret a diplopia chart, first determine the gaze in which there is the widest separation of images. That narrows down the weak muscles to the yoke muscles acting in that direction of gaze. Next, determine the outermost image. This is the false image and belongs to the affected eye. Strictly speaking, this is all that is required to identify the inward muscle. You can use additional cues to help corroborate the diagnosis. For example, by noting whether it is crossed or uncrossed diplopia, you can determine the muscle or group of muscles involved. That is, in a horizontal diplopia, uncrossed diplopia means involvement of lateral rectus. Remember, uncrossed diplopia in abducens palsy. And cross diplopia means medial rectus involvement. In a vertical diplopia, uncrossed diplopia indicates an oblique muscle involvement and a cross diplopia indicates a vertical muscle involvement. The other aspect you need to note is the image tilt. Superior muscle involvement, whether rectus or oblique, causes the false image to tilt to the sound side. S for superior, S for sound side. Whereas an inferior muscle involvement causes the false image to tilt towards the ipsilateral or affected side. I for inferior, I for ipsilateral. So let's see some examples. Here there is no diplopia in the left fields of gaze. Maximal separation of images is in all the right fields of gaze with no single field having the maximum. There is no vertical separation so a horizontal muscle is involved. The yoke muscles acting in the right fields of gaze are the right lateral rectus and the left medial rectus. Red is the outermost image so the involved muscle belongs to the right eye. So this is a right lateral rectus palsy. Let's see if the other criteria are also met. This is an uncrossed diplopia, so the lateral rectus checks out. We need to worry about tilt in a horizontal muscle palsy. Next example. The first thing we notice here is that there is a vertical separation of images. So this is a vertical muscle palsy. Maximum separation of images is in levo depression. The yoke muscles acting in levo depression are the left inferior rectus and the right superior oblique. Red is the outermost image. Uh, in a vertical diplopia, you look for vertically outermost. So the involved muscle belongs to the right eye. So this is a right superior oblique palsy. Let's see if the other criteria are also met. This is an uncrossed diplopia. So the oblique checks out. The tilt is towards the left or sound side. So superior checks out. Great. Now let's go for the next example. Here the maximum separation of images in levo elevation. The yoke muscles in levo elevation are the left superior rectus and the right inferior oblique. Green is the outermost image, so left eye is involved, so this is left superior rectus palsy. Other criteria, this is a cross diplopia, so the rectus checks out. The tilt is towards the uh, sound side, so the superior checks out. Here. 
no vertical separation of images is seen maximal separation of images is in the right fields of gaze the yoke muscles acting here are the right lateral rectus and the left medial rectus green is the outermost image so left eye is involved this is a left medial rectus palsy other criteria this is a cross diplopia so the medial rectus checks out Maximal separation here is in dextro elevation. Yoke muscles involved here: the right superior rectus and the uh, left inferior oblique. Red is the outermost image, so the right eye is involved. So this is the right superior rectus palsy. Other criteria: this is a cross diplopia, so the rectus checks out. Tilt is towards the sound side, so superior checks out. Now let's see this. maximum separation of images is in levo depression yoke muscles acting in levo depression are the left inferior rectus and the right superior oblique green is the uh, outermost image so left eye is involved so this is a left inferior rectus palsy other criteria this is a cross diplopia so the rectus checks out the tilt is towards the left uh, or ipsilateral side so inferior checks out Here the maximum separation of images is in dextro depression the yoke muscles acting in dextro depression are the right inferior rectus and the left superior oblique red is the uh, vertically outermost image so right eye is involved there's a right inferior rectus palsy uh, other criteria this is a cross diplopia so the rectus checks out tilt is towards the right or ipsilateral side so the inferior checks out maximum separation of image, uh, images is in dextro uh, depression yoke muscles acting in dextro depression are the uh, right inferior rectus and the left superior oblique green is the outermost image so left eye is involved this is the left superior oblique palsy other criteria this is uncrossed diplopia so oblique checks out the tilt is towards the sound right side so the superior checks out Here, maximum separation of images is in levo elevation. The yoke muscles uh, in levo elevation are the left superior rectus and the right inferior oblique. Red is the outermost image, so this is a right inferior oblique palsy. Other criteria: this is an uncrossed diplopia, so the oblique checks out. Tilt is towards the ipsilateral right side, so the inferior checks out. Here the maximum separation of images is in dextro elevation the yoke muscles acting in dextro elevation are the right superior rectus and the left inferior oblique green is the outermost image so left eye involved so left inferior oblique palsy this is an uncrossed diplopia so the oblique checks out the tilt is towards the left or ipsilateral side so the inferior checks out Here the maximum separation of images is in uh, levo elevation. The yoke muscles acting in levo elevation are the left superior rectus and the uh, right inferior oblique. Green is the outermost image, so the left eye involved. Uh, therefore, this is a left superior rectus palsy. Other criteria: there is a cross diplopia, so the rectus checks out. Tilt is towards the sound right side, so the superior checks out. maximum separation of images is in uh, dextro depression yoke muscles acting in dextro depression are the right uh, inferior rectus and the left superior oblique green is the outermost image so left eye is involved so there's a left uh, superior oblique palsy other criteria this is an uncrossed diplopia so the oblique checks out uh, tilt is towards the sound right side so the superior checks out Here the maximum separation of images is in levo elevation the yoke muscles acting in levo elevation are the left superior rectus and the right inferior oblique red is the outermost image so right eye involved so there's a right inferior oblique palsy this is an uncrossed diplopia so the oblique checks out tilt is towards the ipsilateral right side so inferior checks out uh maximum separation of images is in 
dextro reservation yolk muscles acting in dextro reservation of the right superior rectus and the uh, left inferior oblique red is the outermost image so right eye is involved is the right superior rectus palsy this is a cross diplopia so the rectus checks out the tilt is towards the sound left side so superior checks out Maximal separation of images is in uh, levo depression. The yolk muscles acting in levo depression are the left inferior rectus and the right superior oblique. Red is the outermost image, so right eye is affected. So this is a right superior oblique palsy. Uh, uncrossed diplopia, so the oblique checks out. Tilt is towards the uh, left or sound side, so superior checks out. Here, maximum separation of images is in levo depressions. Uh, yolk muscles acting in levo depression are the left inferior rectus and the right superior oblique. Green is the outermost image, so left eye is involved. This is a left uh, inferior rectus palsy. Other criteria: this is a cross diplopia, so the rectus checks out. Tilt is towards the left or ipsilateral side, so inferior checks out. Here maximum separation of images is in uh, uh, dextro depression. The yolk muscles acting in dextro depression are the right inferior rectus and the left superior oblique. Red is the vertically outermost image. So right eye is involved as a right inferior rectus palsy. This is a cross diplopia so the rectus checks out. The tilt is towards the right or ipsilateral side so inferior checks out. Here maximum vertical separation of uh, images is in dextro uh, elevation. The yolk muscles acting in dextro elevation are the right superior rectus uh, and the left inferior oblique. Green is the outermost image so left eye is involved. This is left inferior oblique palsy. This is an uncrossed diplopia so the oblique checks out. The tilt is towards the left or ipsilateral side so the inferior checks out. Uh, here there is no vertical separation of images. Maximum separation of images is in all the right and left fields of gaze with no single field having the maximum. The yolk muscles acting in the right fields of gaze are the right lateral rectus and the left medial rectus. Red is the outermost image, so involved muscle belongs to the right eye. So this is a right lateral rectus palsy. Let's see if the other criteria also met. This is an uncrossed diplopia. Uh, the, so the lateral rectus checks out. At the same time, there is a horizontal separation in the left fields of gaze. The yolk muscles acting in the left fields of gaze are the left lateral rectus and the right medial rectus. Green is the outermost image, so the involved muscle belongs to the left eye. This is a left lateral rectus palsy. Uh, it's an uncrossed diplopia, so the lateral rectus checks out. So this particular diplopia chart is that of a bilateral lateral rectus palsy. Now here we see something difference, different. There is a vertical separation of images in both dextro elevation and dextro depression, suggesting involvement of two different muscles. This suggests a right superior rectus palsy and this suggests a right inferior rectus palsy. Dextroversion is intact, suggesting a normal right lateral rectus action. Crossed diplopia in the left fields of gaze suggests a right medial rectus palsy. This complex of multiple muscle involvement is consistent with a right oculomotor palsy. In an oculomotor palsy, there is always crossed diplopia and the false image tilts towards the ipsilateral side. Here we see a vertical separation of images in both levo elevation and levo depression, suggesting involvement of both the left superior rectus and left inferior rectus. Levo version is intact, suggesting a normal left lateral rectus action. Cross diplopia in the right fields of gaze suggests a left medial rectus palsy. This diplopia chart is consistent with a left oculomotor palsy. The cross diplopia and tilt to the ipsilateral, life, uh, ipsilateral side check out.
If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from APs of the Logi Pearls. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to regular updates. Thank you for watching.